Hi, my name is Matthew Luther. I uh, grew up in Ohio and I live now in Michigan. I voted for Evan McMullen uh, just because when I saw Trump coming down the pipe, I already knew he was bad news, but it's uh, it's only gotten worse from there. And so I'm I'm perfectly willing to vote for Joe Biden at this point just to make the pain stop. <laughs> I was practically Alex P. Keaton in high school. I was uh, in the Republican club and I was uh, a member of the Federalist Society and uh, I volunteered for Mike Huckabee at one point. I voted for, the first time I ever voted was for George W. Bush's re-election campaign in 2004. And I, you know, at the time I thought that uh, his second inaugural address was one of the most important speeches I'd ever heard. I, I understand that there were things that traditional Republicans were looking to get from Donald Trump in exchange for indulging his, his populism and things like that. I mean, obviously, his Supreme Court picks um, and, and his federal judge appointments, th those are important things. And, and certainly, like prior, I, I would have, if you talked to me a couple years ago, I would have told you I was almost a single issue voter on judicial appointments. But it's, <laughs> he, he has proved that there are limits to that. And this has proved to be a Faustian bargain that they entered into. His, his moral character, for, for a party that had, since my childhood stood itself up as being uh, very concerned about the, the character of the people occupying our highest offices uh, to suddenly reverse itself on that question and say that, you know, we can have this, you know, obviously venal and crass person nevertheless be the standard bearer for our values. It was just a repellent idea to me. The extent that there was any kind of coherent policy platform coming out of the things he was saying, it was an absolutely ab abhorrent one. Um, and, you know, particularly with regard to, you know, minorities and immigration and foreign policy. And ever since he took office, he's only doubled down on those things and made them worse. And, um, to the extent that I was very critical of, of President Obama uh, in virtually every respect foreign policy-wise that uh, Donald Trump has had an impact on, he has made those things worse. Uh, he's just completely damaged us, and I, I, something needs to be done about that. We, we need to change direction. There's always been a, like a kernel of, of nativism in the Republican Party, but the degree to which he has turned it into a celebration of cruelty and hatred for people who were just coming here desperate and for jobs. The kids in cages thing just blew my mind. I could not believe what I was saying. Um, the only thing I am looking forward to <laughs> about Joe Biden being in office basically is uh, the chance to rebuild the Republican Party. And I just don't think that can happen while Donald Trump is there. As much as I'm probably going to be you know, yelling at the TV when when Joe Biden is, is president, it's it's still going to be less unpleasant than this.